Hello, you are welcome. In this session, we are going to look at how to approve a project in SAP project systems. The SAP system acknowledges authority levels. By virtue of one's rule, there can be limitations on activities that can be performed in the system. So in our case, a rule with less authorization access created the project structure and a rule with a higher authorization access is going to approve the project structure that has been created. To approve a project structure, you first have to open into the project builder, which we already have. We then select the projects which we intend to approve the structures. Can choose to expand or to see the various elements under the project definition. Now under status, we have system status and user status. System status, it's automatically controlled by the system. So at every stage, depending on the status you've reached, the system shows it. So you can see CRTD to tell us that this is created. So for any object you create, the system status would be CRTD, which means it's created. And then a user status is what you, the individually, per virtue of the activities that are being done, you get the status at the stage in which you are. So INTD means initiated. So after the project has been approved, the initiated under user status should change to approved to tell us that at this stage, our project has been approved, which was done by the user. So to do so, we click on the topmost object, which is the project definition. Click on more, select edit, come to status, come to user status. We have set and do set and pass on and do and pass on. So for the set, you only assign a status to the project object you have chosen. Undo, the undo and does whatever you've done for the particular project object you've selected. Set and pass on enables you to replicate the status you've assigned for the project object you've chosen and it passes it on to any other object which is under that selected or chosen object. Undo and pass on also would undo any status you've done for the chosen project objects and it passes the same status on for the various objects under the selected project object. So in this case, since we want to assign the approved user status, we click select, set and pass on. So by here we have various statuses and this could be selected at different stages by virtue of the authorization level and authorization access. In this case, since our authorization is the highest, we have the option to approve straight. So we click on approved. So over here, you can see the green symbol attached to the various elements. And then we have the information user status APPR, which is approved set. So this green symbol tells us that 
our user status assignment approved is successful. Click on continue. And then over here, we can now see that user status has changed from INTD to APPR. So this tells us that our project has been approved. When you click on any of the project objects, you would also realize that we have the same approved for user status because of the set and pass on we did. After that, we save our project. This brings us to the end of approving project structure in SAP project systems. See you in our next session.